Okay, so here we have an iPod Touch running iOS 6 Beta 1. You can see this is much much better than the first beta of iOS 5 that came out last year and as you can see if you install a new app I just install Skype and it gives a new badge to the app icon. Pretty good this iOS update is pretty good. So let's just jump ahead and see how we can set configure rather Facebook integration on iOS. So just go to settings and scroll down it's right underneath Twitter. Facebook and their username and password. So that's it. Enter your username and password. You'll get this rather lengthy explanation on what signing into Facebook will entail. This whole bunch of texture that you can read. And then you just tap on sign in. And then it verifies it as you can see and then it's done and it basically asks you if you want to install the Facebook app you can install it later it's no big deal and then you can update your contacts if you want it can pull your contacts and things like that and these are the apps that currently are allowed to use your Facebook account when you add more apps you can add more will be allowed to use the account so that's just about it so the interesting thing is and you pull down the notification center you see there's this tap to post option here you can just tap here something else just tap here and then you can update your status right from notification center or for example if you are in the camera roll you can simply share the picture straight from the app itself and if you are in safari you just open it up Visit iPhone.com for the page to load, and you'll see how sharing works from within Safari. Simply tap on Facebook and you can share the link straight from the app itself that's just pretty good so this is how you set up facebook integration on ios 6 on any iphone ipad or ipod touch